Hey everyone, this is Joel Nelson with Grant Sorensen. We're on Lake Superior today looking for big lake trout. Conditions are calm, water temps are high, these fish are going to be deep. Stay tuned, you're about to be hooked up with In-Depth Outdoors. Is that another red fin? Looks like it from here, yeah. Pretty fish. Looks like a good one. So you say red fin. Give me the rundown. What the, is that a subspecies? What do you yeah, think? yeah, there's different breeds of lake trout. You know, they inhabit different depths of the water column. Red fins really stick around the reefs and touch out here. Real pretty fish. Oh, tons of spunk. Look at that. And a belly. <laughs> <laughs> Full of food. All right. We started the day, folks, with two downriggers that were starting to catch some fish. In these flat, calm conditions, normally we catch fish on crankbaits and boards. Not today. Again, too calm to do that. We need to get deeper. The downriggers are working, but you know what? So are the lead core, but not regular lead core, not your average standard lead core. We had to spool up one of our lead core rods with the Suffix 832 Advanced. What that did for us is actually allowed us to get quite a bit deeper than what the standard lead core was doing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the good stuff on this second rod. General rule of thumb with standard lead core, five feet per color. With this stuff, seven to eight feet of color. What we're talking about there is about 20 to 30 feet of diving difference between your average reel full of Suffix 832 advanced lead core versus the standard stuff. Really, that's been all the difference today. Without being able to get down in the zone in these flat, calm conditions, we just wouldn't be catching these fish. Here we go again. Grant on that 832 rod. I'll tell you what. I think it's hot. <laughs> you got downriggers in the boat. We got a whole bunch of tools at our disposal, but I'll tell you what. A lot of the tools that are out there aren't very expensive. It's not as inaccessible as a lot of people might think. We've just got snap weights and lead core here, really. Got a planer board taking it further away from the boat. Some pretty basic items, rather inexpensive, and it's paying dividends right now. With just a little bit of trial and error, we've been able to dial this rod in pretty good. Grant, we're pulling in primarily, what, 80, 100 feet of water, somewhere in there? Yeah, yeah, that's what we like to stay. Seems like that's a good depth for, for right now. With this. With this setup, we've got about 10 colors of that Advanced 832 lead core. We've got a snap weight on. It's a big spoon, so that's taking us up a little bit. But I bet you we're getting down there 70 feet or so. It's just amazing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That rod has all produced the niggers in the past hour. Absolutely. <laughs> right now on the boat, we've got two different lead core rods going. We've got this Advanced Suffix 832 lead core. We've got 10 colors on a reel. We've got the other in a standard lead core offering, but all we can fit on that reel is five. And right there, folks, in a nutshell, that's the difference. We cannot get deep enough with only five colors of standard lead core, and a reel simply won't hold it because the diameter on this advanced stuff is so much finer, it makes it so much more sensitive, it lets it dive that much deeper. We're able to get down to where these fish are actually smacking. That's a good one. All right. Nice! Nice Lake Superior Lake Trout right there. It's just a, it's a warlord of a fish. Yeah. Awesome. Look at that fish. All belly and head, right? That's right, exactly. <laughs> Leads with its face, but it's, it's thinking right here. It's thinking about its tummy, man. <laughs> that fish, that fish had plenty of spunk left. It just jumped right out of my arms and straight down back to where it came from. Whew. We just switched this over to Suffix 832, and we got a big fish. It was not out there more than five minutes. I have not gained one yard on this thing. Line corner says 410 right. feet. We got some work to do. The difference with this lead core is for every, it's the dive depth. Every color, you're getting an extra two to three feet. That's making all the difference in the world for us out here today. The high skies and calmer seas, these fish have kind of sunk down, down deep in the water column. And this line is getting into their wheelhouse. How's that one feel, Grant? Feels like a big fish. You know, those bigger fish, when they're 10, 15, 20 pounds, they'll just hit and they just run. And that's what I'm just letting this fish do right now is just, just letting her go, letting her waste some energy. And once I feel her stop running, I'll start to gain some ground on her. Man, I can barely move this fish. My left bicep is just burning. 350 feet. Barely made any way. 
That just, board just hanging there, just in the balance. Look at that. It's just it's like that, that fish swam down, grabbed a rock, and it's holding on for dear life. <laughs> She's taking line. Look at that. 350. I think we said that maybe five minutes ago. I think we'll I think we'll say it again in the next five minutes. <laughs> I've been fighting this fish for 10 minutes now and I cannot get this planer board any closer to the boat than it is right now. Oh. Oh, when that board's in the air, 10 feet behind the boat, it's a heavy fish. Oh, look at this. Tell me here. I'm gonna unclip this back one in case it takes off. We still got the sure one. You ready, Grant? Yep. All right, there we go. This fish would not be on the line right now if we had that other leg core on here. We're pulling at about half the speed we were before. You're, I know. You're not really gaining much ground on that thing, are you? Well, it's like 1.5 and I still can't gain any ground. <laughs> Well, it's unbelievable the power these fish possess. You know, this is another key component to the equation, getting it down just a little bit further. And there it is. There's that snap weight. Just a couple extra ounces. Again, simple tools. Simple tools, cheap tools, not anything crazy. This isn't rocket science. We're just getting the baits down to the fish's depth. <laughs> Grant, you and I, we fish a lot of walleyes. Uh, yeah. we're, we're stretching the limits of walleye gear, but to, to tell you the truth, we're handling it quite oh, well. Definitely. And this is a definitely. great big fish. Exactly. And, uh, I mean, 12 point test line can easily handle, handle big fish. Absolutely. I'm guessing she's gonna go back down to the bottom at least once or twice, but we'll see how tired she is. I mean, it's 20, almost 20 minutes now. And Grant, I've got all the rods in except for these other two. And uh, awesome, you, said, bud. you said 90 some feet of line. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no coincidence, we're at about 90 feet of water. That, <laughs> that fish is, <laughs> belly's touching rocks. We're gaining horizontally, uh, just not vertically. <laughs> I know these fish do not give up. We fished for, uh, for big catfish, sturgeon. Uh, man, this is a fight almost unrivaled by just about anything else know, I've ever I fished know. for. Just, they just go on and on. Most fish get tired after 10 minutes. These guys are just warming up. I think it has something to do too with how fat and sassy the ones that we've been catching are just have a belly full oh, know, of food. Just coughing up food, the back of the boat here is just covered in <laughs> guts of herring and whatever else they've spit up. So Grant, are you gonna back down on that drag a little bit once she comes boat side, yeah. expecting maybe she'll take another turn? And I'll definitely have a light drag when she comes up because they do not like the light in the boat and as soon as they see that, they go straight back down to the bottom and there's no stopping them at all. Just constantly playing with this drag. When I feel her head shake and I feel her run, I instantly turn back the drag and let her go because you do not want to horse these fish. Not know where the hook is in their mouth. You'd like to, you'd like to think it's halfway down their throat, but a lot of times it's right in the corner of their mouth and a little too much pressure, she's gonna pop off. That's heartbreaking right there. <laughs> <laughs> Line corner says zero. That fish ain't close. <laughs> uh, 20 minutes ago we can take back what said 350 and we can add probably 80 or 90 to that. Right, the line counter is only as good as the <laughs> angler remembering yeah, to press it at the right time. It. That's right. <laughs> and here the fish goes. Oh, that fish just surging. I can just see that rod. I'm just letting it run right now. I don't want to do anything. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just letting it run. That's all I want to do. When you feel it set to run, take your hand off the reel. Just let her go. The Shimano Dakotas are simply amazing. You can hear them every time I turn this, so you can just hear click by click by click. These drags are so sensitive. And definitely, we'll put more fish in the boat. They're so precise. A lot of a lot of reels on drags, you know, you'll turn you'll turn the star here and they'll stick. The drags will just bind up, and these ones, I mean, they're just instant. As soon as I turn this, it it's adjusting right away. They, no leg in them at all. We got to pull all these rods, Grant. We're just <laughs> we're not gaining any headway on this I fish. Know. Gotta hit the boat in neutral and just sit we, out here and bob and get right over it. We gotta land this fish. Sun's gonna set pretty soon. We're in neutral now. It's you and the fish now or now. We're in neutral, I'm back at 60. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. You talk about memories, Grant. I tell you what, already this fight is burned in, yeah, <laughs> into yeah. my brain. This is this is the longest fight I've had. Out here in a long time. Grant, I believe you've tail hooked the sea monster. <laughs> There's another color. Oh my gosh. There's a whole nother color in a 30 foot leader. <laughs> I thought this was the last one. <laughs> this, this does not end. It just keeps getting more and more intense. This does not end. <laughs> purple is the last color because it has to Are be. Do you promise? I call. Do you promise? I call purple is the last I color. I can blame it on you if it's not. Yeah, but... <laughs> Joel just promised me purple is the last color and now there's red. Tried to, tried to slant this thing a little, positive. A little colorblind here? <laughs> 
<laughs> there, oh, there leader. leader. There is leader. There is, that I thing is her. massive. I can see her. Here she comes, Grant. I will let you put her right in the net. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Holy <laughs> cow. Grant, get your fish. Look at her. You have earned it. Look at her. You have earned it, buddy. She's wide around and she's long. Yeah. <laughs> and that is what 12 pound Suffix light car can do for you. Look at that. Awesome. Just a tank of a fish. <laughs> Look at her. I'm just so worn out. This fish just destroyed me. Look at how fat that thing is. That is not spawn, that is food. Oh, that's that cool. Beautiful release. She's swimming down, you can see her belly. She's going straight down to the bottom. That's just awesome knowing she loves it. See another day. Put Very her there, cool. bud. There Put her go. there. Awesome. Fish. That was sweet. <laughs> Today, for this trolling application, we're using something called 832 Advanced Lead Core. For those of you that have never tried it, maybe you've used this. This is the Suffix 832 Advanced Braid. It's at the heart of the Lead Core program as well. Really, all we're fishing with is this product with lead right down the center to help give us depth. But that sheath, that 832 sheath, gives us that strength gives us the durability with the gore fiber, helps give us the depth and strength that we need to make sure that that advanced lead core dives deep, stays strong, and gives us all that sensitivity that we've come to expect from this 832 product. Here we go again. Here's <laughs> <laughs> a fish on the rigger. Is it pop? pop? Nope, pop it. Pop it in real. Tighten the drink. Isn't it popped? No, it's not. There you go, doubled up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Doubled up. And we have a seal it on our outside board. We had to put that rod back in the rod holder and <laughs> I guess we got these going. <laughs> oh, we got a steel head on this rod right here. It's thrashing back the board. And Joel and I are doubled up on lake trout. There's not a whisper of wind. And these fish are on fire. <laughs> yeah, usually wouldn't this be just the toughest of tough conditions, Grant? Usually, I mean, usually we'd be struggling right now but not today. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Woo! Oh! You gotta run for your money there. Oh! oh you got off! He just pulled loose. I saw that. You know what? I don't think it was a big fish, and it's probably for the better, because I'm gonna be able to help you land yours now. There you go, Joel. Oh, you get a second chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I won't screw this one up. Uh, just look, hugging look, mean. Look at that That board, board is... <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Looks like a Rottweiler they're playing tug of war. So let's just say trolling's boring. Um, I don't think they've experienced this too often. Yeah. I think, isn't that a common misconception? People think, oh, you just throw lines in the water. Sit and in a boat and kick dra back. And drag baits around and, you know, mess around. No. No, we, we can't sit down. Like, <laughs> My knees and legs literally hurt yeah, there's because no, of it. we're just moving. No sitting so still much. today. That's 20 times when you lose a fish and they can just hand you another rod and say, you're this one in instead. Right. <laughs> I got my fish in the back of the boat here and Joel's is about 30 feet back there, but I'm gonna do my best to one hand net this guy. I'm gonna make him net mine first. And not lose mine. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Grab that net, grab. All right, I'll get mine over oh. I'll return the favor. I was reaching the very end of the slack that I had out on my fish. That worked out just perfect. Come over here and grab yours now. He's a pretty good fish. That is a nice one. This fish has got oh. a tail dancer Look at that thing. crossways in his jaw. Look at that. I speculated it was a steelhead, but it just hit it so hard. Oh, look that's at a, that. That's a long fish there, buddy. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> look at that. Two nice lake trout from Lake Superior. Perfect. You take yours, yep. even though it's bigger than mine. Boy, <laughs> essence of teamwork right there, bud. <laughs> Definitely. Neither one of those fish gets caught unless we do our jobs, huh? Exactly. And mine's exactly. ready to go. <laughs> mine as well. Oh, look at that. Come on, bud. Awesome. There goes mine. Look at that, right down to the Good depth. work, bud. <laughs> that is so cool. Just gonna make sure mine's gonna do well. Wanna make sure he's revived before we dump him. Yeah. There it is. There he goes. Awesome. Ha! Off and away. Man, I love that feeling.